Most of us enjoy the beauty of everything with the aid of our senses, but most particularly sight. Our eyes catch on everything where it landed. However, naked eyes have its limitations, but that never stops humans to explore deeper. Together, let's witness this powerful innovation man ever made that would let us see things from horizon to nanometer specimen. in which he coins the term cells when describing tissue. 
The book includes drawings of hairs on a needle and the honeycomb structure of cord. He uses a simple single lens microscope illuminated by a candle. 1676 Living Cells First Seen Anton van Leeuwenhoek builds a simple microscope with one lens to examine blood, yeast, and insects. He is the first to describe cells and bacteria. He invents new methods for making lenses that allow for magnifications of up to 270 times. 1830 Spherical Aberration Zone Joseph Jackson Lister uses a spherical aberration, which produces imperfect images by using several weak lenses together at certain distances to give good magnification without blurring the image. 1874, Ape Equation Ernst Ape writes a mathematical formula that correlates resolving power to the wavelength of light. Ape's formula makes it possible to calculate the theoretical maximum resolution of a microscope. 1931 Transmission Electron Microscope Ernst Raska and Max Knoll design and build the first transmission electron microscope or TEM based on an idea of Leo Zilar. The electron microscope depends on electrons, not light, to give an object. Modern TEMs can visualize objects as small as the diameter of an atom. 32. Phase Contrast Microscope Fritz Zernike develops phase contrast illumination which allows the imaging of transparent samples. By using interference rather than absorption of light, transparent samples such as cells can be imaged without having to use staining techniques. 1942 Scanning Electron Microscope Ernst Raska builds the first scanning electron microscope or SEM which transmits a beam of electrons across the surface of the specimen. 1957 Confocal Imaging Principle Marvin Minsky patents the principle of confocal imaging. Using a scanning point of light, confocal microscopy gives slightly higher resolution than conventional light microscopy and gives it easier to view virtual slices through a thick specimen. 1962, green fluorescent protein or GFP discovered. Osamu Shimomura Frank Johnson and Yo Saiga discovered green fluorescent protein in the jellyfish Acoria Victoria. GFP fluoresces bright green when exposed to blue light. 1972, first C80 scanner. Godfrey Hunsfield and Alan Cormack developed the computerized actual tomography or C80 scanner. With the help of a computer, the device combines many X-ray images to generate cross-sectional views, as well as three-dimensional images of internal organs and structures. 1973, Electron Backscatter Patterns Observed Janine Nobles and C.J. Harman observed Electron Backscatter Patterns or EBSP in the scanning electron microscope. EBSP provide quantitative microstructural information about the crystallographic nature of metals, minerals, semiconductors, and ceramics. 1978, Confocal Laser Scanning Microscope Thomas and Christoph Kramer developed the first practical confocal laser scanning microscope, which scans an object using a focused laser beam. 81. Scanning Tunneling Microscope Jerk Binick and Henry Schroer invent the Scanning Tunneling Microscope or STM. The STM is seized by 
measuring interactions between atoms rather than using light or electrons. It can visualize individual atoms with eight materials. 1993 to 1996, Super Resolution Microscopy. Stefan Hell pioneers a new optical microscope technology that allows the capture of images with a higher resolution. Every day, it'll keep going better and better.